Okay. Let's stop. All right, I'm just getting it together. Yeah. Let's see. Today I'm going to be making some denim earrings. I just put my ISO link in. So welcome everyone to YouTube. Those who are joining me on YouTube and those who are joining me on Facebook. Um, Leslie's Fashion Boutique slash or Reseller's Passion. I'll be changing that soon. And those who are joining me on ISO. Um, oh, let me see. I might have to. Oh, I guess my lighting isn't too, too bad not too too bad let me see let me turn this down yeah not too too bad awesome so i'm going to play around until more people jump on all right let's see all right now i'm just putting all my links in for people to shop and join me on ISO. All right, so all the links are in there, sweet. That was a long link. I'm gonna have to see if I can make that into like a shorter link for the future. So since I'm simulcasting, I'm going to get started just making what I'm going to make. I'm just dropping messages <laughs> in. All right, there we go. Now, I'm going to be making, whoops, denim earrings out of these denim jeans. These particular jeans were Air Pastel. It doesn't really make a difference what jeans you use. I would say make most the quality, the majority of the quality cotton. You can use of course, jeans with spandex because they're putting spandex in most of the women's jeans. But if you want to use jeans, men's would be a great way to go. The reason that I suggest using jeans that don't have a lot of spandex is because of the stretch. You're going to use some stiffener. I'm going to just go through all my supplies of what I'm using and then jump right into the DIY. If you look into my store, I do have a bunch of earrings and actual denim earrings for sale. And I'll probably show those um, during the course of this um, live. But I'm going to go through everything that I'm using and then I'll go into a tutorial. I'll probably be here for like an hour. And this is what I'm going to be doing once a week. I'm going to be doing these DIY sessions here. Um, hello, the lazy reseller. 
Barbara Babash, hello. So this is my ISO, but it is streaming to my YouTube and to Facebook. And I'm gonna be doing this once a week. It is a marketplace. If you're looking for a new place to sell, the Lazy Reseller, um, I do have room in my ISO marketplace and I do have some links. It's a new app. And so I'm right now, I'm just gonna be going live. And since it's simulcasting to YouTube and to Facebook, that also is going to be content that, you know, my live content. So today, I don't know, Barbara, have you ever seen me make these denim earrings before? So I'm making denim earrings. And the first thing that I'm using is actual jeans. I get a lot. Um, I had a lot of jeans. Okay, well, you're hopefully you're in for a treat. <laughs> I've got a lot of jeans last year from ThreadUp, right? Everybody knows about ThreadUp. And it was a huge case of jeans and I'm going to be using them for a lot of things. But I came up with a really great idea, which wasn't my original idea, of course, to upcycle them into earrings. So here are some regular jeans. These came in the actual box and this is what they look like. You can see I <laughs> cut just one leg off because you don't need a lot. And then I use stiffener. This is from the company Plaid. They're the ones who make the Maj Podge and they make all the different kinds of paint. So it's stiffy and they also make a, um, called a Mod Stiffener and it's liquid. And I pour it into a cup, maybe a little bit bigger than this. And then I'll use a sponge brush. The one I used earlier was a little bit bigger. And I literally stiffened these, this jean leg earlier today. It, it takes like an hour for everything to dry. So I showed you the jeans. This is what, this is half of the leg. This is what it looks like. Now it's like nice and stiff. Now you can make these earrings without stiffening, but I think stiffening up is easier because it's going to, you'll see, it's going to be easier to cut and to draw your shapes on. But I just thought it was fun. I do this with a, with a lot of fabric when I want to do some exciting projects. So this is what it looks like. Now, I will say if you really get involved in making these jean earrings or anything from jeans, use as much as you can. The purpose for me is because, it's, it's because the purpose for me is upcycling. That's why I'm a reworker's passion. I'm reworking a lot of stuff, right? Um, yes, <laughs> exactly. So yes, you want to use as much as you can. Yeah, you know about the 90s. So, and I think that's really important. Like denim can go a long way. I'm going to be using in some some different things that are coming up soon. And so every week I'm going to be going live. And of course, because it's streamlined, you know, simulcasting to YouTube, everyone's going to get a chance to see it. I really was, was lagging on my content. Of course, I'm selling live all the other places, but I really miss YouTube. And I was so glad that ISO is a place that I can now stream simulcast and I can make some things and then I have things in my store that people can buy. And this is what I do on the other sites, but this is, um, they've created this marketplace specifically for me. So now I want to bring, um, there are vintage sellers here. There are sellers who sell baseball cards and things like that, but I want to open up my marketplace to handmade sellers, whether you do jewelry or, um, crochet like me, your artist or anything like that in the handmade. And then other sellers too, if you sell jewelry, we want to definitely be unique because right now the vintage um, vintage boss babes is really um, exploding here on the app. And also there's a marketplace that they are in the business of like baseball cards and things like that. And they are like exploding. So um, yours, mine, ours. Hello. Thank you for joining. Hello. And so right now I'm making, um, hi Sienna. I keep forgetting like your little picture. So, De so Sienna, I'm making denim jeans, um, earrings. And I started off with these jeans right here. Aeropostale, it really doesn't matter what jeans you use, but you want to make sure that they're, the, the majority is like cotton because that um, spandex is like really stretchy. And so I use a stiffener. I showed that. I probably do this a couple times. I'll probably be here to like an eight. And then I, because I only cut off like a section, the front and back. And then it's nice and stiff. I use a, a brush painted on like paint. And then I have a little clothesline in my laundry room and then I hang it to dry, right? And you've already seen, because you've posted earlier, um, my denim earrings. And they're big sellers um, in addition to my 
um, tissue paper. The tissue paper took such a setup that I didn't feel like doing it. B-Wags, thank you for joining. So here, these right here. And then I I do a lot of freehand because I am an artist. These are This is my painting right here. This is an actual wall my husband made for me. But I do a lot of my own shapes. But I in the last um, group of earrings that I, um, handmade earrings that I was, that I got, I got a lot of shapes. So I've been fortunate to use those shapes, but for the most part, I freehand. So if you go into my store, you'll see flowers and things. I'm going to show you a couple earrings before I get into it. So you can see what I actually make, right? What does my light look like? Is it good? We'll check it in a minute when, because I'm going to turn my tri my pod down just a little bit, my tripod just a little bit. Um, so I've been fortunate enough to get these shapes. So I do have some shapes, the diamond, the teardrop. The circle is my go-to because I use it a lot. See, it even says tracer because I use this in a lot of my crafts, especially like my tissue paper. If you're curious about those, maybe I'll do the show next week. It just took a lot for me to set up and my craft area, I didn't feel like dealing with that. I usually make my own flowers, but I had a flower earring that happened to break. So I traced this today. And then those shapes transfer to here. So I just use a marker or you can use a pen. The marker was darker. And of course I'm using it on the opposite side, but I also, the cool thing about is once you cut them out, like I just cut these circles out, beforehand is you can use this side or you can use this side and if you're wearing them they can flip around so here are a couple samples before i get into the tutorial of earrings and these are all for sale and then i do have some that i have not listed yet but this is an example of you want to use all of the gene as much as the gene as you can and these are like distressed ones. These are once I, I I played around with distress one time, and I sold. I put them on one of my shows on another place, and people got went crazy. And so I started making them, and they started really becoming popular. But you just cut off the denim from the jeans, straight as possible, right? And then we'll get into the hole punching. But these are just a couple examples. These right here, this is the last pair I have of these, but I'll be making some more with the denim I just stiffened today. And people would think, oh, why would I buy those? Not everyone makes earrings. Just keep in mind, right? Because this is simulcasting onto YouTube and Facebook um, and it will save. And when people watch this, I like to encourage people that it may seem simple to you, but it's not simple to someone else. There's a buyer for everything. If you can think about it, then there's someone who is going to buy it. If you do the follow through, right? So I just cut out some circles. So here are some circle ones right here. And then I, the cool thing is again, you can just flip these over like that and wear them on either side. And that's the cool thing. And so, Here's my flower one. I'll probably be making some more of these. The flowers cost a little bit more money because I do these by hand. The ones, this one I showed you, this is going to be different because I'm trying this for the first time. I have to see if I can cut it out. But I usually take some cardboard and I freehand. I couldn't find them, so I'm going to have to do some more. But I freehand my own flowers, and this is what they look like from the denim. And then I take like the back and make it the front little circle. So there are different colors there, right? How sweet, right? And that's the example. And then you have this teardrop. So you'll see the difference. This is the teardrop that is already in a shape, but this teardrop was, this is me hand drawing. I use cardboard. I'll use cardboard because that's another upcycling cardboard, paper bags, I do a lot of upcycling. Um, I make paper earrings. There's all kinds of stuff that I'm hopefully I can bring uh, to ISO that I've been translating onto other platforms. And let's see. And here's another one that's like distressed. So distressed. And you can see it has this color wave. This is the way that the jeans looked. And I just cut them at the edge right there. How sweet, right? And then there's that. All right. Yeah. 
So that's the example of all of the ones that I just showed you are available for sale. If anybody's interested, I'll pull them up. But my goal today is just really just to kind of get myself used to going live here. And then I'll show you some that I haven't been made into earrings yet. Here are these right here. I gave them a little distress. I have a hold. I'll show you in a few minutes. And then I talk about using as many things on the jeans as you can, right? So I'll give you an example. These particular ones, I just pulled them out of the box. I was saying earlier, I have um, the lazy reseller who is Bar Barbara Baba. She is um, one of my friends. Originally, I met from our good friend, the Grateful Queen on YouTube, and then we become friends. Barbara buys a lot of my stuff on all the platforms. And so this is a new platform for her, and I'm so glad she joined in today. So she's kind of like used to me. And what I do with the jeans is I try to use as much as I can. So here are some buttons. I'm going to do something with these zippers. These are sweet, right? And so here are buttons. I've sold these. I don't have them listed, but I'll probably list them tomorrow. So here are buttons. I put on super um, E500 or E700 um, glue, and they become earrings. So this pair, this is a combination. Um, one button is Old Navy and one button is American Eagle. And then these right here are, I think these are American Eagle right here. And then here is another pair. So you want to use as much as you can from the jeans. Um, I'm going to literally use all of these and even um, the pockets for some other crafts that are not related to earrings. But these, I'll be cutting these out and using the zippers and then I have, I'm always excited when I have two matching buttons because you get this button. So I'll hold on to this and see if I can match it with something else. But look at this. I have these two awesome matching buttons right there. So as you can see, I did cut off the leg. And that's it. Then I did my shapes. I'm going to cut out just a couple more. You want to use sharp scissors as you can. Um, these are my craft. These used to be my children's scissors, and it's been a long time. <laughs> I found these like a couple years ago. My youngest daughter will be 21 next month, so that's how old these are. I like these because they're small, and aren't we thankful that we learned how to use scissors in school, right? That's something that they, they check for dexterity when your children are young, and they determine if they're developed, right? So I have five children. Oldest is 32, the youngest will be 21, and I have a granddaughter. I'm a mom, mom. She'll be 10 in August. And I know a lot of information, but that's how you learn about me. So these little scissors are perfect. You can use a pair like this. Um, I would suggest when you first cut the jeans, maybe use a fabric scissors. After you stiffen them, if you have good quality fabric stiff scissors, do not use them because once you stiffen your jeans, they become like paper. And so if anyone who is in the craft industry, if you sew, if you're a crafter of any kind, you know the two shall never meet. If you're in a family and your husband keeps grabbing your scissors, you do not want him to get a hold of your fabric scissors. And you don't want to use it on this because now it's like cutting into paper or cardboard and they will mess your scissors up. So use just some regular scissors that are good scissors though. You don't want them to fray unless you're doing it on purpose to create a distressed look. So you can go with the bigger ones. I actually like the smaller ones, but this right here is actually cutting a little bit better because this for this particular, for jeans, because I want them to be stiff, really stiff, I use a coat of the stiffener on the front and the back. If I was just using regular fabric, I make my own clothing labels now. I would just use some white fabric and just stiffen the, put the stiffener on the front. Uh-oh. And this got a little caught. Oh, thank you. Awesome. Thank you for purchasing my earrings. Woo woo. Okay, I don't know why they came up for... $37, but unless you bundle. <laughs> now, so there's this. All right. So I just cut out this teardrop right there. Barbara Babash. Barbara's a huge customer. Thank you, Barbara. You're awesome. Yes, definitely join 
And then if you want to sign up to sell, I have room, plenty of room <laughs> in my marketplace. I'm looking for some sellers to join me. I have some ideas, something that just came to my head today. And this is, I'm really concentrating. And one of the things, because I use this, because I use black, um, because I use black marker, <laughs> I want to make sure that I cut really close so that I get all that marker off. If it was pen, it wouldn't be that bad. Or you could use like a heavy, of course, pencil, right? And you can do whatever you want. And so all I'm doing, I'm just cutting this. Oh, I meant to turn this down. There we go. So all I'm doing is cutting the denim. And as you can see, it does have that black marker there. And I'm that person, for people who may not know, I am a, I wonder if Barbara knows this too, but in, um, it wasn't a lifetime ago because I still do it, but just for friends and just for smaller groups of people, one-on-one, -on -one, I'm a professional baker. So I baked, I'm originally from the city of Philadelphia. I baked in several cafes in Philadelphia. And then when I married my husband, It'll be 12 years this year, and we moved from Philly to Delaware. No one wanted to pay me what my worth, so I became a lunch lady after that, and I would just bake on the side. I did have a business that used to be called the Surprise Inside Desserts. I used to specialize in vegan, gluten-free, or I called it allergy-specific. If you had celiac, if you had an egg allergy, or if you were just a vegan, I was the person for you. So I did that for several years and I still bake. I'm actually working on, um, it's probably not going to happen anytime soon because I'm doing a little bit at a time, but I'm working on a, a cookbook. All right. But yes, definitely share my link. I put the link in YouTube. So that's how I think Barbara got to me, right? Well, I did, Barbara. Seriously, that is how I met. I got them. Um, back then, they were vegan. I made vegan um, cupcakes. They were vegan. Um, what was it? Oh, gosh. Carrot cake. Vegan carrot cake cupcakes. And so that was awesome. So I cut these. Here are some of these right here. Then I have this handy dandy hole punch. This is a very small one. And as I would say to anyone, do not spend any money unless it's something you're going to do all the time. Now, this is something I do all the time. So a small investment, Amazon, I think these cost me probably like $8. And this is not the big giant. This is a little tiny. It's almost like a pin print. And you just want to make sure that you punch the hole in a way that you can put your little rings on. That's going to be the key right there so i just use this little punch right here and it just puts a little pin drop in there can you see there you go see that little hole so many gadgets you know that's why i tell people it's good to have if you're talking about things on amazon make sure you have an amazon store which i do have an amazon affiliate so i tell people go to my link everything that i use should be there so while I'm here, I'm just going to put a couple holes because I'm going to put some of these earrings together. And if anybody else comes on, I'll go in and explain the whole process again. But again, this will download as a video and I have to come back and put a thumbnail on the front. Here we go. Ah, there. And so, yeah, there's a little hole at the top. And I had to learn because if you put it in too far, the, they're called jump rings. Your jump ring has to be so right. Okay, these are some. This is a pair I made a couple months ago. And these are from lighter, light wash jeans, right? Jeans, dungarees, denim, depending on whatever, what generation you're from. And so, and actually dungarees are still like what wranglers are, you know, but it just really just depends on because it's like saying pants. My husband calls them trousers. You know, he's 
in the 60 age group. So he calls them trousers. Okay, this doesn't have a hole. And then I'm going to attempt to cut out this flower. And see, all this, this won't go, these little pieces will not go to waste. I can come back in and fill them in. Or, oh, they almost looks like, see, they look like some kind of shapes. I can fill them in or I can use them for something else. I, as an example, I took the diamond and I just put it on the corner and made these right here, these triangles. So I think that would be sweet as well. Yeah, I definitely would bake a lot for my husband until I found out that he was a diabetic. And so I don't bake as much. I baked a lot for my children when they were growing up. And that was a madhouse. Already, you know, you have a, a mom that's baking, so there's always some type of class something. And then they would say, oh, mom, I signed you up. And then all that changed. I used to grumble about it. Then it changed when um, all these allergies and then you could not bring in baked goods from home. And it was hard for me because I never <laughs> purchased from the store. I always made my children's all their birthdays and everything. And, um, and I don't think they had a store bought cake for their birthdays until they were older. And so that was hard when they were like, you can't bring in your own, you know, and that was like, wow. So that didn't last long. Okay, so I'm going to try this flower. This is the last one that I'm going to cut out. Or if somebody's here, let me know what my lighting, if my lighting's good. But if you would never know. I do have a ring light behind me. It says there are a lot of baking recipes for diabetics now. Yes. Well, I do bake for him. Um, there are a lot of recipes. So that's what I used to do anyway. I just didn't know at the time that he was a diabetic until we got married. Like when we were dating, I was making him all this good stuff. So I did change the way that I make. And I don't use, and this is the, this is a trick that, cause I used to write a blog a long time ago, Barbara. And the blog was, I would actually do conversion. Oh, that's cute. I would do conversions. And what that meant was, um, thank you for telling me my lightness, but the conversion would be, I would, tell people how to take a regular recipe and convert it. I rather convert a regular recipe, make the substitutions, than use a diabetic or an eggless recipe because it may not be good. That's where you get the chalky stuff or it's not satisfying. So I rather take a regular recipe and then substitute. Like if you don't eat egg, what are you going to substitute instead of using egg? I don't use egg replacer or any of that crazy stuff that people suggest. You know, you can take an avocado and bam, there you go. You can take a baked potato. You can take a zucchini. Um, you can, there's so much that you can do, especially when you mix it with chocolate because chocolate is going to mask. You just need it for the consistency and for it to bind together. And um, there you go. So I think that flower looks pretty good. I'm going to have to work a little bit more because I can still see the marker in there. And I definitely, applesauce, I use that all the time. I used to work... Um, one of my first jobs as a lunch lady before I worked in the school district, when I married my husband, my first job in Delaware was that as a um, preschool cook. And so I would um, make that. But I do have a, a brownie recipe that I use applesauce for. I use applesauce in the vegan um, carrot cake cupcakes as well. So, and you, my friend Wendy, Salt Creek Style, you know her, she's a vegan so when she and her husband, they actually came to visit me in January, um, they were doing a road trip from Arkansas to Florida and they came 900 miles out of their way to visit me. And I made them some vegan brownies and I used applesauce in them instead of eggs. When the eggs were really expensive, I wasn't doing as much baking. So that was pretty good. Not that I really needed baked goods, right? And so I use... Um, I used um, almond butter. So almond butter is another alternative. Aldi has a really good almond butter. It's like very um, liquidy. So thank you, Sienna. It's very liquidy. So I use, you just measure a quarter cup is your egg measurement. And so I made some, um, instead of putting eggs in my, my famous chocolate chip cookies, I use almond butter. But with that, of course, you got to be particular with people who have nut allergies, just letting them know. Normally I don't use nuts. 
and let people know. All right, so so these right here, I'm gonna have to play around with them and I wanna get a little bit closer because I have the marker there. And then I cut those little triangles out and the distress look is really good. That just lets people know that they're coming from jeans, right? It says, I have a friend who doesn't do vegetables. They are grown under the dirt. Interesting. She, oh, that, that are grown on so potatoes and, th and carrots and things like that. That's interesting. Everybody has something different that they eat and don't eat. So she probably wouldn't eat any of the stuff that we um, cook. We have a huge garden. <laughs> We're having some problems with some Japanese beetles. Do you get Japanese beetles where you are, Barbara? Since you're at the other, you're a little bit higher up from me. We um, had those at our house, our rental, before we moved into this house we purchased. And now we have three fruit trees, an apple, a plum, and a pear, and they've been attacking them. So my husband, he's the outside gardener. I'm the inside gardener. All right. So... Um, now I have these fancy schmancy tools <laughs> right here. And um, this pair right here came for free. I tell people if you're gonna buy some things off of Amazon for making anything, see what else you can get for free. So when I ordered, when I got some, um, some jump rings. These are jump rings. I'll show you in a minute. I got some free pliers here, right? And so I make a lot of earrings. So I buy a lot of things kind of like in bulk. These are different size jump rings right here. And the jump rings are the little circles. And I have two different sizes. Um, this is my table. This is my art kind of table. I do have another, a bigger art table, but this is the one I do when I'm doing quick lives or if I'm painting something on my own because I have a huge like um, table that artists use, a whole art center. And maybe on another live, I'll do a, like a walkthrough. I like to do those. Let me see my, I feel like I don't have a lot of light there. So there we go. That's a little bit better. Now, oops. So these are the jump rings. I have two different sizes. I don't know if you can see them. So that's that one. This is more, this is not even a medium. I think I'm gonna use the small ones. This particular one I like, it is magnetized. Um, so it help, you can pick up the jump rings. Magnetized is like awesome. You can use, you can open these jump rings with your hands if you want, or you can use these fancy little tools. You can get them anywhere. This one has been hanging with me for a while. This one I got for free last year inside of one of these packets. I don't know if it was earrings or jump rings. I'm not really sure. Or if it was the earring bags. So here are earring bags. I mix it up a little bit. The silver are cheaper, so I get a bunch of those. So here's the bags. They are hypoallergenic. And I do that because so many people have allergies. And I do, if people request it, I can put, um, um, for people who don't have pierced ears, I do have some backing. So I can just take out that and then I have some for people that clip on. So that was a request on like one of my lives before. So here are these, look at all these, right? And this is what they look like. And see, they're stiff. They're like so cool. I wouldn't suggest throwing them in the wash. They're so small anyway. You just take it like, I don't think you're going to be dipping these in ketchup and whatever, but you never know whatever your thing is. I'm not here to judge. <laughs> and so you can just take and they can just be cleaned off. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, so everybody who's watching, hello. It says four people are watching. Um, introduce yourself. Let me know who's here because I am simulcasting. So I'm like looking over, you can see my hand. I can see it now. There is a delay. So um, I'm looking at myself on the app ISO that I'm streaming from and it's simulcasting to YouTube. So it is a delay. So Barbara, you're probably getting me like a little delayed and you're probably not aware that you're getting me delayed. All right, so here is, and then I'll be back next week I'm going to stick with this time because I've been changing up my schedule a little bit. I'm, I'm trying to work more on a lighter schedule and not go as late 
I know people are coming home and they're shot, you know, it's, but for me, <laughs> as a person who's getting a little older, I'm really watching my time. So when I do my lives, I'm going to be more specific. And so I think I want to be here at seven o'clock on Wednesdays. This really works. And then if this really works going forward, as the weather, you know, gets cooler, people will be home and it's, you know, the sun will come down and it's hot. I don't know. I know people who are in Texas. My, I have good friends. My good friend Chris is in Texas and Chelsea. And it's hot there. Let's see. It's been storming a little bit right here in North Carolina. Did you guys get that big storm, Barbara, the other night? It was crazy. So I'm going to take... I'm going to do these teardrops. And I want to look at them and make sure my edges are good. I'm going to do the teardrops. I think the circles... Because whatever Barbara purchased, then I can just replace those. And I'm going to do these right here. For some reason, these remind me of like the Pac-Man. <laughs> and there we go. So it says, yeah, it's something. I don't know where the storm is coming from, but it's crazy. I hear people's trees are coming down. All kinds of stuff is going on. So I just want people to be safe. My friend in Arkansas was saying that, you know, tree, you know, somebody lost their life because of tree and went down and you know all right and so I just take the jump ring I open it up and I put it on there the cool thing about these denim earrings I said this earlier is that you can actually wear them either way so I'm, I choose to have them this way but once you put them on you can literally wear them anyway CN is on giving me the shout out over on ISO. So, and then you just close it, especially people who make earrings, you already know how this works, right? There we go. Yeah, so this would be great if my marketplace builds up. So this is, so ISO is in search of, so anything that you're looking for right now, the, the baseball cards are really big. And um, Vintage Boss Babe, she's Sammy. She's over there in New York. And she's got a wonderful group of people. And she's growing. I love to watch their lives. They're mostly vintage sellers. And I would love to do on ISO here in this marketplace the same thing that the vintage sellers, maybe some handmade sellers. Come on over. They can build, build a, um, they can, you know, list their items. They can auction them and they can go live. And it would be something, you know, wonderful. We can create a schedule or they can just, you know, go live and sell their items, especially if they're not sure about the other platforms. Going live for me is just like almost as easy as, as breathing these days, especially since I've been doing it so long. All right. And then let me see if I have any little, yeah. And you don't have to use anything fancy. I'm getting myself a stamp. But you can buy these earring cards. Now, this right here, these are actually tags. And I have this little hole punch, and I punched them here. But then I have these other ones that I got from these. Like, look how they're almost the same. Got these for the, from the dollar store, but these actually came in a pack of 100 on Amazon pre-hold this, I made these holes myself. And I said to myself, you know what? I don't feel like spending the money. So I went to the store and I bought three by five cards, but I wanted them blank. And so I cut them, I, I don't see them. So I have some bigger ones, they're still in the pack. They're like these plain blank cards. This is what they look, and then I cut these and this is what it looks like. Oops. I'm giving you the full experience. And this is what it looks like. And I just took a hole punch. Right? And punch little holes in there. And then I can write something on there if I want. Or I can stamp. I just, before I ship them off, I just put like a little thank you card. Like, just give you an example. Some On other sites, I number things. And so I just put a little circle, thank you, thank you sticker right there. And so I'll take these and stick them on here. And then I have these little rubber backings. I don't know what I did with them. 
and now you have these cute little these cute earrings right how sweet so i'm gonna do a few more of those then i'll list these i'll take pictures and you can take simple pictures you see the pictures that i took i just used foam cord i laid it on top of a table and i have i, ha I happen to have a ring light but i've been doing selling for a long time you don't have to do that you can have some lamps or just have really good light and i took some photos and i just lightened them up a little bit on my phone and i listed all of them now i will say i don't know if sienna's still here but i'm telling you the this platform i'm telling you the the awesomeness about this platform you saw that i listed all those earrings hi wendy span i was talking about you earlier wendy span salt creek style welcome i hope that you and chris i know so we were talking about the weather wendy and curtis <coughs> have experienced some rain too they're trying to take the boat out, right? 50, 15% turned into what, Wendy? <laughs> so, um, but I was saying the thing that I like about listing here on ISO, so you can list, then you go live and then you can add the listings to your show, right? But what I like is the duplicate feature. So I listed my first pair of earrings, then I would go in to that listing and just duplicate. And that's what I did. Everything's the same. The only thing I changed is like the heading, whether like I'd put denim earrings and I put like teardrop and then the next one would be diamond. And I just add the photo like that was, I listed like however many pair in a couple minutes and I just pull it up from my phone. And so the simplicity of that is awesome. So I just want to throw that out there to the team at ISO. They're working really hard to create a platform that sellers and buyers alike can enjoy. And I'm having fun. So I'll be doing this once a week. Wendy's seen practically just about everything that I've been doing. Wendy's my bestie for people who don't know. That is Wendy Salt Creek Style. She's a sewist. And my new joke is that it's not a, um, she's not playing an instrument unless you consider a sewing machine an instrument of um, <laughs> a musical instrument. There we go. She says, Sorry, riding in the car, a bad sell. No worries. Where are you riding to? Where are you going? Where are you coming from? Let's see. Tell Curtis I said hello. Let's see. And I'm just adding these. If anybody has any questions, let me know. Right. And yeah, I'll think I just I'll just do. You want to make sure that this is lined up really well because if not this will come apart and you do not want your customer to get them and they fall apart and they don't know how to put them together that's not a good experience for anyone it says going from the lake to the hotel room nice i love it all right so here's that Yeah, I'm gonna have to come with, come hang with you and Curtis because I don't like to do anything that really is water involved. Now I'll put, you know, I don't like a whole lot of water activity. I do like to like lay by the lake and don't get me by the beach. I like to just kind of, I like the atmosphere of the beach. I like the atmosphere of the lake. So here is this pair and this is the cool thing. So they're like this and you can just flip them around and wear them either way. And so you've got actually two in one and that's what I like. So the inside, you can tell people that I'm actually wearing um, some upcycled denim jeans. So that is like sweet. So there's that pair. And I already have teardrops, so I would probably just duplicate or just say that I have two, you know. And then these were like these little triangles that I made. How sweet are those, right? And again, I like them. Some people like straight. Some people like distress. They like that whole look, that whole like kind of grungy or whatever. And these were just little scraps off. So like, look at this extra that I have. Now I have to figure out how to use that. So I'll definitely use these and I'll probably do these in a few minutes. You definitely want to take advantage and use as much as you can from the jeans. You don't want to waste anything, right? Oh, it was two things that I was talking about you, Wendy. I know one thing I was talking about was I was talking about do not use your um, 
do not use fabric scissors on paper. And I said, anybody who knows anything about that will agree with me. Like when I first cut the jeans, you can use fabric scissors because they're fabric and they're very light. But once I put this stiffener on, it, um, it changes the game. It feels like paper. You do not want to use your good scissors. You want to use a good pair of scissors, but that could be a great, a good pair from the dollar store. It says, come, yes, <laughs> definitely, <laughs> maybe next summer, because in that way, we can plan something out. Um, lazy, lazy reseller, Barbara Babash, it says, you can make a coin purse or cosmetic cases. And so what I'm going to be doing is, um, you should, I, hopefully you're following my good friend, Wendy, Salt Creek Style. She does a lot of great stuff like that. So I am going to be using the pockets and for something, and I have a whole nother, I have like four bins of jeans. I'm going to be doing some stuff because I've been sitting on like my, my projects, but it's a lot of things that I'm working on. So I'm actually going to incorporate some of the denim with some crochet as well. So as the weeks go on, I'm going to be doing these, um, these shows. I'm so used to, this is what I like about selling on multiple platforms, but what I also like about creating this marketplace is I, my hit, my mind was kind of set on what I was selling somewhere else, the platform with the P. I try not to sell small items like this because of the 20%, but there is no 20% here, right? I believe it's 5%. I don't know, CN is here. And so, um, and then if you're on my marketplace, um, it's still even cheaper. It's cheaper. Oops. So um, that's what I like. So I was not selling earrings and doing this over there. That's why I was kind of sticking with the crochet because it just made more sense for me to make the higher um, price items. An earring, you know, $12 and then 12%. It's just too much. So um, so I can actually look at my screen. I was like, ah. Uh. So Wendy says, it says, that's right, don't hide. Yes, hide. I said the same thing, hide those fabric scissors. Because that's happened to me once. And I came in and I freaked out. And, you know, Thomas is looking at me like, what? <laughs> like, what? Um, says, you make quilt denim jeans from Thread Up. Nice. I'm going to, I do. So I got my denim. So I got a big, my last order before I moved from my rental house, I had gotten that big box. And so I'm going to be doing some things. Wendy does a lot with the jeans as well. She does the patches and stuff like that. So the upcycling to me is a key. And that's what I want people to see when they come to this channel. And again, that's why I love that I'm simulcasting. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Facebook. My Facebook group hasn't caught up yet because they don't know what's going on. I'm not as active over there, but I need to start kind of getting active. And then again, transferring my re my um, my short stories and things over there. I haven't been doing that. So this is the reason why I want to be here live on ISO because once I knew that they were simulcasting, the game changed for me. So this actually helps me put content out on YouTube that I've been slacking. So when people are watching now, they get to hear me just kind of like talking and doing this. I just have to create some thumbnails, which I will do so they don't see me <laughs> just like the dark screen. It's three people here on YouTube. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. I am, if you want to tell me who you are, that would be great. I see Wendy and I see Barbara. For some people, it's, it's early. It is summer. That's okay. I don't really do a whole lot. <laughs> my um, in-laws are in. My sister-in-law just came in. Well, I have a sister-in-law that lives here already, but my sister-in-law just came in. Her daughter lives here. She actually moved into the house that we moved out of. And so that's exciting. So I'm pretty sure she'll be visiting. And I hear she brought her grandchildren with her. So that'll be awesome as well. Because I miss my granddaughter. I was just making plans. <clears throat> I probably won't see her until August. She'll be 10, but I'm making plans to go. I told my daughter, please let me know what your plans are for her birthday. Because whatever you're doing, I want to be there. I don't want to miss 10. I can't believe she'll be 10. That's crazy. All right. So... This and then also I like doing DIYs because you know how sometimes you slack and I'm pretty sure Wendy can relate to this. You slack getting things done. It's a process getting these, you know, people, they, they buy your stuff, but they don't realize with handmade how much goes into it. 
So when I do the DIYs like this, the making shows, this gives me a chance to actually make items, gives me a chance to get caught up. So here are these diamonds, like literally these diamonds, I cut these out <laughs> probably about five months ago and I just finished them here. They were, I went through to see if I had any already made and then I did have these made. Hey, you borrow it. Like I don't, I, Wendy, I will tell you, I joke all the time. I can sew. I just say I'm a fake sewer, but I can sew because I do have a sewing machine. I'm actually going to be trying to sew, sell that one like on the marketplace and invest in a brand new one for myself. Because the funny thing is four years ago, I purchased a brand new one. I didn't use it and I sold it. My mother gave me this one, but um, there, I don't know how to work it because it's hers. It was hers. And, um, you know, she upgraded to a nice one. So I'm going to sell that and get myself a new one i deserve it so um either this good singer i saw or like a brother i don't need anything major because i'm not doing you know a whole lot whole lot that's like the cricket that i have sitting up on the shelf and so here are these right here and all the ones that i'm putting together i'm going to list them so here i just did these little triangles And then hopefully people, and this is for people who may come back and watch the video, put any questions in the comments that you have. I did show you from beginning to end, like everything that I used. So there's that. And then I'll probably list the buttons and then I'm going to come back and I might even do it before I get up, like after um, I end, which I'm going to be ending at eight o'clock. I use, here are the jeans that I started off with. These are the Air Pastel. And you're like, oh, did she use something? Yes, I use this one leg right here, right? It doesn't take a lot because then I can slowly cut. I'll put this in my area for later on because um, I don't want to overwhelm my, well myself, but I'm going to come back and now cut off the buttons. I'll probably take these pockets off. I'm definitely going to use these zippers. I'm going to make earrings out of these zippers right here. Right. And then I'm probably going to use the pockets like Barbara was saying something else. So that's that's the cool thing about, you know, um, jeans. Just use everything up. These will be like, you know, 50 pair more pair of earrings. And, you know, it doesn't take a lot. And again, they came into a, a thread up box. Right. For the people who do watch me and have been watching and so i'm trying something new so wendy i took these i had these little these painted earrings the top broke off and i said you know what let me just take them and make them my flower and i traced and i have to go around a little bit more because it still has a little bit of marker on the back and i don't want to send them off like that and then what i'll do is i'll take and cut use some of the scraps oops I can well it's the scraps from the flower try not to waste too much but now I can just make a little circle and I was saying earlier like aren't we glad we learned how to cut when we were young so there's a little circle and now I have to just see if I can get <laughs> this one <laughs> about the same size. And it's all visual, right? And you know what? I'm so thankful I can cut. I was saying earlier, you know, they used to check your children. That's how they would, how they develop, right? For dexterity and everything. I'm so glad because I crochet and I have some different, you know, things going on that I can still hold a pair of scissors, that I can still make them do something. So I just did these little circles and I'm going to put them probably just on the front of that flower. But then I use a um, the, e the E500, actually my E600 glue. So I have to get the glue. I didn't bring the glue tube. I'll keep this set up and work on this tomorrow. I have people coming on over tomorrow. They can see my office. It is a mess, but I'm good. It's my space. I'm not cleaning it up. I'll just shut the door. <laughs> so that's the cool thing. That's why my husband made a door. Wendy saw my door. I hadn't even painted. I don't think I had painted my door yet, had I, Wendy? I think he, Thomas had just hung that door for me when you and Curtis came to visit. Now it's all pretty. All right. So if anybody has any questions, let me know. Again, for the replay, I'm pretty sure people have questions. I'm going to come 
I'm going to make a thumbnail tomorrow and put it on the front. And I'll be back again. Um, I'm going to be just doing 7 p.m. Unless it's something I have to do, but it will be 7 p.m. on Wednesday. Because I'm trying to build up the marketplace. I'm looking for people who want to, you know, partner with me that they want to go live or you can just sell. It's three ways you can go about it. Probably more ways that I haven't figured out yet. But you can, it says, can you tell how close a friend you are by how dirty the house is? <laughs> Oh, uh, ah, you know what? That's funny. But you know, we that's, hey, that's when you get the best cleaning in is when people are coming. My house, thankfully, I don't have any young children. So I usually, when I know people are coming, I just go and do the, clean the bathroom really quick. You know, um, other than that, I don't get too deep about it. You know, so I was going to dust. I had to dust in my living room tomorrow, but I don't worry about that too much. I try not to stress. My children were, when they were growing up, everybody cleaned. And so I, it's harder for me to keep up and I'm not, I don't stress. I keep the kitchen. I make sure the kitchen is clean every night. And um, the bathroom, my bed, as long as the bed is made, I make it before I get up. Like I actually had a nap before I did this live and I made the bed. And so um, anybody can knock on my door anytime and come in. It's just very casual. I have crochet stuff in every room. I have tie-dye stuff in the kitchen. It's my house, you know? And so when my children were home, they clean because they lived here we all cleaned but i can't keep up the way i kept up when they were home so i don't stress myself you know that's like i don't cook hardly i cooked dinner last night and if i cook you know in the next couple of days it would be a miracle because it's not a no longer a requirement i i cook to keep my children fed so that no one would you know say i was starving them now that everyone knows how to cook, so. All right. All right, so here's these circle ones. I gotta find the backs. I don't know what I did with them. And then I'll load some more things. The earrings, and that's why I'm gonna keep the earrings coming. Thank you, Barbara, for your purchase because people are liking the earrings right after my show last week, somebody purchased. And I, instead of the big, oh, look, look at, look at what I did. I put two <laughs> backs. I don't know. See, that's what happens when you talk. That was funny. But next week, um, Wendy, do you have any suggestions based on what I've made before? I'm thinking of the tissue paper. I didn't do those today more so because if you could see what my table looks like, I just didn't feel like wading through all that. And I literally made the decision to do these jeans today. I can't wait until um, right now. I don't have the ability to um, set up my show here until um, the time right now. There's no scheduling yet, but they're working on things. So, so for anyone who's out there, the app that I'm streaming from is ISO. So if you watch this on the replay on YouTube or Facebook, and it is a marketplace similar to the marketplaces that people have been selling. I do have my own marketplace that they created for me called a reworker's passion. There's a marketplace vintage boss babes for vintage sellers. There's a marketplace, somebody they focus on Disney. Um, the huge, the biggest marketplace is similar to the, the what app it started off with baseball cards. They're really huge. And in the marketplace, I have my own marketplace, but then somebody can sell under me. If you don't want the, you know, want to deal with a whole lot, if you don't want to, you know, create your own place on like we do on the Poshmark and the whatnot, you can come over to ISO and you can do whatever you want. You can sell, um, have listings like you would on Poshmark. You can have auctions like you would on eBay, or you can go live like you would on whatnot, Jamble or Poshmark. So if you're interested, click the link or definitely send me, a, leave me a message here or on, or on Instagram at a reworker's passion and we can talk. Um, there is, you can go into my link and click and apply to sell and I'll go through and um, decide. And then we'll do, we can do a one-on-one. -on -one. Sienna, she is the person who is heading up the ISO fashion. She and I meet every two weeks. She helps me out and just, um, I would love to have, you know, people join me here. You can go live. There's no pressure. You just show up as yourself and handmade is something that is really undervalued and let's make it um let's let's just make it just a natural thing for someone to come in and purchase handmade so it's it's not that question this is not like if you have some vintage goods you want good money for that so why not 
ask for and get your worth. So if we can bring, if we can grow ISO, right, from, you know, not the ground up because they're already doing their thing, but imagine a marketplace that just features like handmade sellers, it would be fire. It would be fire. Um, I've done it before. My Wendy will tell you, Saw Creek Style, Humbly Chris, we kind of created and did something on another app. And now they're kind of building up. I already, you know, and so why not do it here? So I want to thank everyone who came. If you're watching the replay on YouTube, thank you for watching. If you're watching the retail play on Facebook. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave me messages on both those sites. You can um, chat here on ISO. And yeah, ask me any questions. Drop them in. We can have a meeting. Sienna has been awesome. And um, yes, yeah, Sienna, we got to talk soon because I have um, an idea that I came up with. So thank you so much. I'll be back next week, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am North Carolina, so it'll be Standard Time. And I'll have another DIY and more things for sale. But you don't only have to buy during my sale. You can go and click when I'm not around. So like I make money while I sleep, right? I have a shirt that says it, I think. I'll probably list this. I make money while I sleep. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate you, everyone. Thank you. Take care.